Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. So as promised from last time, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to train your bird to go in a travel cage or a carrier. Basically what this means is just simply if you need to put them in a travel cage or a carrier to go anywhere, that you can do so with ease. Being able to do so easily is extremely important, not just for vet visits, but being able to do so easily is extremely important for any type of emergency event that you might be facing. Of course, it's really nice to be able to put them in the carrier, take them outside, take them on car rides, or just a normal vet visit, and that's completely fine. But if you ever do face an emergency, especially if you live somewhere where there is natural disaster emergencies and you need to get your bird into that carrier quickly, it is so important that they are trained to do so and feel comfortable. Because while you're in a rush, you do not want to be wasting time or have your bird panicking and have them probably bump into something. Now it is extremely important to understand that this is going to be requiring patience, daily training, and exposure. So what you're first going to want to do is get an adequate travel cage or carrier that is appropriate size for your bird of good make. It shouldn't be anything flimsy that they can bite their way through. Some carrier options can be the carrier like what I have, an appropriate size travel cage, as well as those kind of backpacks, those kind of glass dome carriers. I don't really know what they're called. There's tons of different carrier. There's tons of different carrier types, and you just need to choose one that you most like. The reason why I like this carrier personally is, is because it's easy for vets to be able to grab the birds from the carrier, first of all. Second of all, it is zipper sealed. These little guys know how to get themselves out of cages through the little bars, know how to open doors. One time they had a, <laughs> when I used to use travel cages, they used to zip tie the, where the feeders go and the doors because my crackers would get out. I also has on the sides to make the carrier darker and to block out any of the cold. Overall, it is just one that I really like. It's great for small to medium sized birds. If you have anything larger than that, then you're probably going to be looking into a very large carrier. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is simple exposure therapy. Birds freak out when they see anything new. This is very normal and they need time to see it, get used to it. So you're going to want to keep the carrier kind of in the room with them, but not like right at their face or anything. Just keep it at a distance so that they get used to seeing it. As well, you know, be with the carrier, kind of like touch it around, play with it. Just show them that, that their trusted parent is easily able to see that this is not dangerous, nothing's happening to them so that they will lead kind of by example. Once some time has passed and you can kind of move this carrier around the room, touch it, whatever, without them screaming, freaking out, then you want to go to the next step of bringing them closer to the carrier. So they might at first not want anything to do near that carrier. They might fly away, they might freak out, they might be like, whoa, too close, that's fine. Keep trying this every day. Let them go at their distance. I personally like to put it somewhere like the floor or the bed, somewhere where they like to kind of walk around. So especially on the bed, if I put it on the bed and I leave it open, then sometimes they'll kind of take a look, kind of explore it, maybe try and bite it, just so that they can get accustomed to this. So you do want to associate this carrier with something positive. So that means that you're going to want to have treats in handy. So get a treat and bring it kind of close to the carrier and kind of have them almost try and come for the treat. If they try, make an attempt, anything, then pass them that treat, doesn't mean they have to go inside the carrier. Once they've gotten more comfortable with coming closer to the carrier, then try placing the treats even further into the carrier, or whether it's the travel cage or anything like that. My example's with the carrier. So keep at this at every single time that they're comfortably able to come closer and closer, see if it's not a danger, and then try even placing the treat on the inside at what point, let them walk in if they're ever able to. Again, reward them for any like tries they make. You're gonna wanna work at this a little bit every day and each day there'll be somewhat of progress. If there is, and keep going at it. And if they do end up going into the carrier to grab that treat, do not just lock them in, do not just zip up that carrier and be like, okay, great, I did it. That's gonna freak them out. They're gonna be like, this was a trap. So if they do go inside, again, keep at this for a little bit. Let them keep coming inside. Once they're inside, let them kind of explore it. Let them look around because birds can be very curious once they're comfortable with something. Let them kind of look around, stand on the perches. If you do have um, any type of carrier, I forgot to say, make sure there is a comfortable perch for them to be standing on. The next thing you're going to want to do is now putting them inside. So now that they have walked in themselves, gotten accustomed to it, you have to let them 
kind of realize that you're going to be putting them in as much as they come in to explore. So pick them up and try and bring them inside slowly. See how far you can get before you kind of start doing that like little back of body motion and then bring them back out again. And again, give them a treat, reward them. Every day keep doing this until you can bring them inside and they'll step up on that perch. successfully do this for a bit next you're going to want to move on to the step where you're going to start closing that carrier do not just slam it closed do not just zip it up and pack them up in it you're going to slowly just move the door a little bit closed open it again let them see how they react to seeing that enclosure of course throughout all of this i do encourage that you guys try and speak softly to them let them know hey it's okay it's all right i'm just gonna close it like kind of talk with them through what you're doing helps tons as you're closing that carrier every day close it a little bit more that you can until you're able to fully close it and they're comfortable with it while you are doing these steps of closing the carrier try to associate a command with it so usually i will say stay stay we're closing the carrier Day. <laughs> so they know not to like bolt out or anything and once you're able to fully close it just try small time frames in between where it's fully closed obviously don't keep them there for like 20 minutes or anything just try a few seconds at first let them out next day try like a minute let them out if they're able to do at least like let's just say like a minute or two without freaking out then you guys can move on to actually getting them used to being carried in the carrier so when you are carrying that carrier do not just jiggle them around do not keep them i recommend personally not keeping them below your waist i like to keep them like kind of higher above so that they can see me that they can see that they're not in any scary position of course this is if you can because if you have a larger crate or something like for macaws it's gonna be a little hard to carry that above your waist so be very gentle when carrying them and just try moving them around your room at first again same thing try a little bit every single day after a few days when you're kind of getting used to this motion this like completely new motion i recommend bringing them to your car because that's where you're going to be traveling right or even for a walk now mainly i like to start with a car if you guys saw the vet visit video then you're probably going to notice that lusa was outside of her carrier she's very used to car rides she really loves car rides and she's very good at going in and out of the carrier now if you guys have the time to try this after many many trips and car visits and everything then you can try letting them out see how they react just being in the car without any motions or anything they have to be used to all those sounds all those movements because they could freak out and fly within your car so i hope this video helped to give you guys kind of a walkthrough of how to carry or train your bird i hope that this video does help and you guys are successfully able to do it please 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 note that every bird is going to go at their own pace some are going to take longer than others but please keep persevering it or persistent with it be patient lots of treats go at their pace not yours if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up hit like if you guys enjoyed this video hit subscribe if you want to see more of us check out our soda chill media links down below as well as our Etsy shop we have tons of different products in our shop all parrot themed so make sure to check it out and we'll see you guys next time Bye bye